Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy Ducky. Today we are going to be reading Jenny's cards from Blackpink. We're going to see uh, what are her her and V or Taehyung's uh, current energy. And we are also going to look into Jenny's acting career. Maybe how it's going to go. Some advice for her. So... I had two separate videos regarding Jenny um, in my to-do list. So, you know me, just trying to knock out two birds with one stone. So I said, you know what, let me just make one video dedicated to Jenny. Um, so this is mainly going to be just about Jenny. Um, but we will cover a little bit on, like, Young and what his thoughts are on Jenny. But mainly it's going to be about our girl Jenny. Um, so let's get ready for the reading. So remember uh, that these videos are always mainly just for entertainment purposes. And that is because we do not have Jenny here to say, yes, Ducky, what you're seeing in the cards is right. Or no, Ducky, I don't know what you're seeing in the cards. It don't make sense. Um, you know, so just remember to to watch these videos with a grain of salt. Um, so. With that being said, I do, I have been practicing tarot card reading or like studying tarot cards for like, I don't know, like five plus years now. Um, and I was studying kind of like the meanings of the cards. And then after I learned the meanings of the cards, that's when then I started putting more of my own intuition um, into to how I perceive the cards. So without with that being said, let's get ready for Jenny's reading so let's start with jenny and taehyung what is jenny and taehyung's energy like together currently we're gonna do together currently we got the devil in reverse hmm let's keep going we got the nine of wands and we got the ace of cups in reverse hmm so immediately with this ace, <laughs> I'm over here pointing at this card, and with the ace of cups in reverse, with the devil in reverse, normally the devil talks about right side up. It talks about bonded relationships, uh, lust, greed, all this type of stuff. Um, but in reverse, I'm getting the sense that there's like a freedom beginning of light at the end of the tunnel. There's some freedom here. But with the Ace of Cups here in reverse, I'm feeling like there's like a loss of love. Um, because normally the Ace of Cups talks about the beginning is of love, stuff like that. But when it comes in reverse, it can, it's, to me, it's signaling that there's like a, a loss of some kind of emotional connection here. Um, and with the Nine of Wands here, the Nine of Wands represents tenacity, being confident, being um staying strong um stay being or yeah having perseverance so it seems dependability yeah it, i don't know this is like a hard uh, hard interpretation that i'm seeing but it can be one of two things that i'm seeing first thing can be that maybe they there isn't love in this relationship, um, but there's a lot of freedom here. There's a lot of expression. There's a lot of confidence here. But maybe it's not that there is a connection, like an emotional connection. Um, but they do depend on one another. There's a lot of dependability here. Like maybe they they depend on one another for for confidence, especially uh, with with some personal struggles that maybe they are de dealing with in their individual lives they have each other to kind of depend on and so it could be that that's what's very freeing and liberating is that they have one another to really talk about things that are are bothering them and so it's helping them be confident and strong in one another so let's see a little bit on individual like, like, what does Jenny think in regards to Taehyung? And what does Taehyung think in regards to 
Jenny. All right, so let's see. Okay. What does Jenny think of Taehyung currently? The Six of Cups in reverse. Oops, sorry if you hear my dog in the background. <laughs> um, all right. Let's keep going. The Three of Wands in reverse. Hmm. And the strength card in reverse. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. What does Taehyung think in regards of Jenny? Or in regards to Jenny? We got the six of wands. One second. I'm going to close this window because this dog barking is really irritating me. One second. I don't know how much better that's going to be, but her barks are so irritating. Um, all right, let's keep going. Mm. The devil. Hmm. And... The King of Swords. That is interesting. Okay, let's get some Oracle cards. What does Jenny think in regards to Taehyung? Preservation. Formation. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So let's let's dive a little bit into this. So we got the six of cups in reverse with the three of wands in reverse and the strength card here in reverse. So these are all cards representing what does Jenny think in regards to Taehyung? I feel like Jenny thinks Taehyung is not in the most strong place right now you know we got we got the strength card here so this it, it could be talking about like giving up it can talk about being a little bit cowardly um not having a lot of nerve not having a lot of strength not having a lot of confidence in oneself so it seems like jenny might think that v doesn't have a lot of confidence in himself right now and he's not really taking a lot of opportunities to do what he needs to be doing. He's kind of maybe just preserving himself. Maybe he's just like laying low and keeping to himself because maybe he doesn't have a lot of energy for a lot of things. So he's just conserving his energy um, for himself because even then he barely has any kind of strength or any kind of energy um, for others, nonetheless for himself. And with the Six of Cups here in reverse, the Six of Cups normally talks about feeling like nostalgic or like being stuck in the past. I feel like Jenny thinks that maybe Taehyung or V is just stuck in the past. Maybe it could be like about BTS that maybe he is just like thinking about the past, you know, how great things were with BTS and stuff like that. And he's not taking any kind of opportunities um, to to make something great of himself right now. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of kind of feelings of giving up, um, not having a lot of nerve, not having a lot of drive. And so it just seems like he's just keeping to himself right now. He's not really doing too much right now. That These are like what Jenny could be thinking in regards to Taehyung. Now, what does Taehyung think of Jenny? He thinks she's like successful, she's ambitious, she's courageous. 
she's going after what she wants and she's successful in anything that she does and with the devil card here it could talk um the devil card whenever i was studying it talks about tied bonds and it could talk about like a good o omen for like marriage or good relationships so maybe you could see that he he sees that she is a great she would be a great partner for anyone um i don't know if it would be for him because you know we saw that ace of cups in reverse um in regards to both of their energies together so i don't know if this is in regards to like if he sees jenny and him like as a close you know bond like in regards to a romantic relationship relationship but he does see her as being a very good person um that connects well with others she's very ambitious she's very successful and she knows how to connect herself with people she knows how to to have that mm, that emotional bond she knows how to bond emotionally with people and she's very smart she's a great intellectual person she knows she has great thoughts and ideas in regards to what what she wants to accomplish and what she wants to create you know we got formation here she's for she forms a lot of plans she forms a lot of ideas and she's very successful we got this six of wands here which always talks about success and being you know victorious in whatever endeavor you choose so it seems like he thinks so highly of jenny um which is great and it seems that, like, maybe Jenny right now just thinks that, like, V is just keeping to himself so much right now. He's stuck in the past. He's not He's not looking for any opportunities to move forward and to, like, gain his confidence back and to gain his strength back, which which is a little, a little sad, you know? No one wants to feel that way. Um, and I hope that no one wants others to feel that way either. We are all allowed to be confident and we all have should be given that space and liberty to feel confident and feel like we we can be strong in whatever endeavor we choose so that's what i'm seeing in regards to that so let's get some advice cards for them We are going to get some, we're going to get some connected advice, you know, so we're going to just read some cards in regards to Jenny and V together. Some advice for both of them in regards to their connection. Um, so let's see, let's get some advice for Jenny and Taehyung. We got the eight of pentacles. In reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh. And the Page of Cups. With formation again. Wow, that is crazy. All right. So I immediately am getting the sense that, like, they need to, their advice for right now is to continue forming goals continue having those goals um but have those those goals be in a sense in, in an energy where it's fun and playful um they they with the eight of pentacles here showing up the eight of pentacles talks about working towards towards something you know having that patience in working towards things now in reverse their advice is to not allow long processes and tedious things get in the way um of of breaking their foundation you know sometimes whenever we have goals we have things that we want to plan everything seems nice and fun you know with the page of cups here we're like yeah you know i'm gonna write a new song it's gonna be so fun but then whenever like the 
the going gets tough or things are you have to get nitty gritty and you have to become more detail oriented sometimes all those little like fine details and those little things are not so fun um and then it makes you not want to even finish that project so their advice here is to embrace having fun um and embrace those like little tedious those little minute details those things that we all have to do whenever we are working towards a big goal or or wanting to accomplish something um you know we all have those things where we're like yeah it sounds fun i'm gonna create a big old masterpiece i'm going to draw something great but then whenever you're drawing or you're painting this is just an example by the way you know you start you, you're having to focus on like the shadows and all the details and stuff like that and sometimes like all those little fine lines all those details can take hours and hours and then you lose that sense of like fun you lose that sense of like childlike energy so their advice right now is to not lose that sense of childlike energy and to not lose um not lose sight of their goal of what they're working towards um because you know that is going to build a solid foundation for them they need to have that solid foundation in regards to being okay with working hard doing all those tiny little details working on all those little things um and so that's their advice for both of them i don't honestly in my opinion, with the way that the cards came out, I feel like maybe they are working as they're just like maybe business partners or they are just working on a project together. I don't know if I see anything too romantically involved um, as I did in the previous reading that I did for them. I mean, there is a page of cups here. Um, and so there are some emotions here, but I feel like in the sense this card is relating to their their goals their the things that they are working on i don't know if it's in in regards to a romantic sense but i do feel like maybe they are working on something together and maybe they are they are starting to lose hope or not hope they're just like losing the fun and the joy out of why they decided to work on this project so their goal or their advice rather not their goal their advice is to Remember why they created or decided to work on these projects and have fun with those details, those little details that sometimes can be tedious and require a lot of time and patience. Um, they need to form a better emotional connection with those things like look at all these all the detail in here as well you know it takes time to to draw in all those details and that's what they their advice is for right now they need to stay strong um and remember why they decided to work on their goals and remember that sometimes big things take time and you can always just break down those big goals into smaller things and into smaller more manageable goals so that's what i'm seeing all right now let's get into jenny's acting career um someone wanted to know like that she or someone said that she's getting into acting and they want to know a little bit more about how her acting career is going to go so we're going to do some of Jenny's acting career now. Okay. All right, let's see how is Jenny's acting career going to be like? What's it going to be like? We got the Nine of Wands. Interesting that this card is coming up again. The Page of Pentacles. The 
and the world in reverse. Okay. Huh. Revision. Yeah. That makes sense with the world here. So we're going to start with this card revision and the world. So with the world, you know, the world always talks about finished completing tasks, the end of one new the end of one chapter and the beginning of another chapter. But in reverse this can talk about unfinished business, not finishing something, not completing something, and unable to move on. So in regards to her acting career, she really needs to revise. She really needs to look over and over through her things. Um, maybe her script, um, because she is newer at this. She's going to need to, she's going to have to have a lot of confidence in herself. This is going to be a new ambition, a new goal that she has in mind for herself and she needs to remember um that it's not going to be it's not going to come easy for her um because it's something completely new that she's trying out so she's definitely with the way that her acting career is going to go she's going to revise a lot she's going to look through look over her script a lot or she's going to practice her lines a lot she's going to she's going to revise a lot there's going to be a lot of looking back that she's going to be doing she's gonna feel and with the world card here in reverse i'm going to i'm guessing that the way that her acting career is going to go in the beginning is that she's going to feel like oh no i can't move on i can't do the next scene because you know this isn't perfect i have to get it perfect you know with the world card here coming up in reverse it's going to be hard for her to like move on because maybe she's so used to in the music field you know landing things making things you know perfect or you know to where she is proud of it and maybe in regards to her acting in the beginning maybe she's not going to feel the most confident and she's going to want to continue revising being like oh can we do this again <laughs> can we do this scene again can we can we try it again you know i don't i don't know if i feel good about it um so she just needs to be confident in herself she needs to have that confidence in knowing that you know when people say all right that was good and even if she doesn't feel it's good um they're gonna have to move on so maybe that's what i'm seeing with her acting career um and with the Page of Pentacles here, normally the Page of Pentacles talks about the, you know, having that little glimmer of hope, that little, you know, being proud of the things you have, you've accomplished. But in reverse, again, I'm getting the sense she's not in the beginning. She's not going to be the most proud of what she has accomplished and or what she has done. And that's why she's going to be revising. She's going to want to keep going back and repeating the same scenes, repeating the same lines, looking over her script again. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. Um, it's going to be hard for her to move on, but she is going to start building confidence with that nine of wands. She is building that, that tenacity. She's going to learn that it's okay to not feel like the scene was perfect, but you have to move on, um, which is great. That's going to be great for her. So let's get some advice for her to finish out this video. Let's get some advice for Jenny in regards to her acting career. We got the two of pentacles in reverse. The chariot, ooh. And justice. And we got space, ooh, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be great. So her advice here is to, in regards to acting, we got the two of pentacles in reverse. Normally the two of pentacles talks about juggling, lots of juggling, but in reverse, it can talk about doing too much, wanting to do a little bit too much, wanting to spend too much 
of something and and normally it can talk about spending too much money um but here because we're talking about her acting career and in regards to advice her advice is to not feel like she needs to spend so much time again revising and looking over things practicing her lines so much she her advice is to give space you know give space let herself breathe a little bit relax she doesn't need to spend so much time rehearsing lines practicing her scenes what she's going to do or say or react because she's going on the right path like we got the chariot here the chariot talks about moving in the right direction it seems like with acting she's going to get the hang of it she's going to find that balance she just needs to find that balance of looking over things revising things and then giving it space so that it can sink in and she can let her mind rest and feel good about about it so that's what i'm seeing with her advice is in regards to acting she needs to give herself some space um not trying to practice something too much to where she gets so caught up in her head um, that she's constantly worrying or being like, oh, no, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. I need to do this again. She needs to give herself space from the script, from like take herself out of the situation, take herself out of the script so she can just let her brain relax and kind of sit into the, the scenario, sit into the role that she's playing because she's going to find her way. She's going to find her method of acting. She's going. She's well on her way to, to finding that. And that's going to be the balance that she's going to need. Um, because maybe in music, she does things over and over and over again until it's perfect. But when it comes to acting, maybe she's going to need to find another, another method. Um, or maybe she already does this with music where like, she knows that like she can't do something over and over again. So with music, she gives herself space. So it could be that maybe with acting, she needs to do this also. Uh, she just needs to pull herself out from the script, let herself relax, sleep on it, you know, just chill um, and do other things. You know, rather than focusing on this, she could focus on something else. Rather than focusing on the script, she can focus on what is my character you know what is how is my how does my character feel at the time rather than what is my character saying or what is my character doing you know but she's going to find her she's going to find her way her method of acting which is going to be great um so and again it's going to be hard for her a little bit so she's going to need to be confident in her abilities in the beginning um and in the beginning, yeah, there is going to be that revision that where she's going to constantly be be looking at her script and wanting to practice because maybe she's nervous. It's something new to her. Um, but she's going to find her footing. She's going to find her way of doing things. She just needs to not do too much. Maybe not not feel like she needs to always like act too much or look at her her lines too much. Um, review her lines too much she just needs to give herself some space and time to be able to balance things out so she's not always constantly worrying about if is she doing is she acting right is she saying the right lines stuff like that but again with this chariot here if she gives herself some space she's going to find her way uh, of acting that works for her. And I feel like it's going to go well for her, honestly. So that's what I'm seeing in regards to Jenny um, and her acting career, as well as Jenny and Taehyung, a.k.a. V. So that's it for this reading. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for requesting this video feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like this video or a thumbs down if you didn't like it um i'm sorry if my energy seemed a little bit down or a little bit erratic in the first half of this video i don't know what's going on with me either uh <laughs> um but like 
you know, we all got a, we all got our goals and, um, I don't know, maybe I was, I've been a little bit discouraged and maybe it came out in the beginning in the first half in regard, regards to Jenny and Taehyung's part of the video where maybe the energy was a little bit erratic, but, um, I'm sorry if that was, if it came out erratic and if it didn't, well, just disregard what I'm saying. I'm just venting. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, I hope y'all are having a great uh, afternoon, evening, good night, or morning, whatever time it is for you. Um, feel free to drop in some comments on what you thought of this video, some constructive criticism if you have any, um, and any suggestions on what other types of uh, celebrity tarot readings you'd like for me to do. So with that being said, I'm going to go eat some food and play some games and chill, and I hope you all... Um, take care of yourselves remember to stay hydrated remember to love yourselves and that's it see you later bye